going to be talking about is automating Twitter growth. Uh, now, there's a few things you have to know about Twitter. It's a bit slower than the other social media platforms. It grows a, a bit slower. But on the other hand, it's quite, quite easy. Uh, and another thing, you have to beware the limits of Twitter. Uh, they also have following and unfollowing limits. So we don't want to cross those limits and get our account banned. So those are the three things you have to know about automating Twitter growth. It's a bit slower, but it's quite easy. And we also have to beware the limits. So let me show you how to actually automate your Twitter growth. So let's go on Twitter. Before we go on to Twitter, you have to download Google Chrome extension. It's called Mask Flow for Twitter. Now, this is the extension. Really, really, really easy to use. You just download it and then you head on to Twitter. And let's just do that. So as you can see right now, I am on Twitter. And as you can see, I don't have a lot of followers here. That's mainly because I don't use Twitter. Not my cup of tea. I have those 2,000 followers from last month. Last month, I decided I have to grow my Twitter account. And I gained those 2,000 followers in about two weeks. So I want to show you how you can rapidly grow your Twitter account really easily and really fast. So search for somebody in your niche. So let's say Gary Vaynerchuk. He is in my niche. I'm a CEO as well at my own company. So probably his followers will be interested in what I have to post and in my content. So I'm going to go to Gary Vaynerchuk. As you can see, 1.72 million followers. I can just click on his followers and this pops up. Before I show you how it works, we have to talk about the limits. Let's click on settings. And as you can see, for following, it's waiting 500 milliseconds, so half of a second, a limit of 1,000 people. So the extension won't follow more than 1,000 people. This right here is not good. I got my account locked for a few days because of the settings. So I'm going to change it to 2,000 milliseconds, which is basically it will wait for two seconds before it follows somebody. It will stay at 1,000. I don't want to follow more than 1,000 people in a day. Kip already once followed profiles. Now, this is very useful. Why would you follow somebody who's already following you? Just copy those settings. 2,000 milliseconds. Now, it's at 2,000 milliseconds. It works great. Uh, I just wanted to see how fast I can go before I get my account blocked. So 2,000 milliseconds is perfect. Every two seconds, you will be following a person. Skip already wants to follow profiles. Skip protected and skip profiles will already follow you. For the unfollow limit, so it will unfollow somebody every two seconds. The limit is 2,000 because uh, you know, the following limit lower than the unfollowing. So you can unfollow more people than you can follow. But keep in mind, you can't follow more than 5,000 people when, you, uh, when you're just starting out on Twitter. Usually Twitter increases that amount over time. So after some time, you can follow 6,000. After some time, you can follow 7,000 people. Uh, but in the beginning, you can only follow 5,000 people. That's why I unfollow everybody, because you can only follow 5,000 people at a time. I want, I want to start following other people again so I can gain more followers. That's why I unfollow everybody. So those are the settings. After you configured your settings, you just go to somebody that's in your niche, click on their followers, and click on follow all. So as you can see, it will start following all of those people. Now it's waiting two seconds and it follow that person. And that's how you gain a lot of followers very quickly on Twitter. You just follow 1,000 to 2,000 people every day and you'll be gaining followers really, really quickly. But you also have to unfollow people so you can have more space to follow other people. So this is how you do it. It's very, very si simple and very, very easy, as I told you. The only downside is it's a bit slow. So not a lot of people will be following you back because uh, the notifications on Twitter, they don't pop up when you go into uh, the application or when you go into the website but otherwise you can grow your twitter to a huge following and twitter is it's actually really useful as a social media platform i like twitter more than i like snapchat and i don't have snapchat at all i only use twitter instagram and facebook and right now i'm on a mission to grow my facebook to my personal facebook page to a lot a lot more followers and my twitter account to a lot more followers i have mainly used instagram because i've been making a lot of money from instagram so that's where I concentrated on the most. But anyway, so in the next video, we will be talking about the types of content you should be posting on your Twitter account. So meet me in the next one.